flight is good, isn't it? <laughs> All right, y'all. This is bike number six or seven today, seven or eight. This is one I've wanted to ride for quite a while. I have ridden it before, but uh, look at the beautiful tank on here. We'll talk about that here in a minute. This is a Royal Enfield Super Meteor that's been highly modified by the folks at Baxter Custom Works. <laughs> I've just ridden four or five classic bikes and I'm sitting down here looking at the shifters trying to figure out how to shift this thing. <laughs> this has a Zard exhaust pipe on it, one of my favorite pipes on an interceptor. The pipe, check that out. The pipe was made for an interceptor, but they put it on the Super Meteor. What a beautiful thing, what a beautiful thing. Let's see what kind of a circle it can turn here. <laughs> I love it, I love it. They modified the snot out of this thing. <laughs> I'm having trouble with my feet trying to figure out how to shift. It sounds fabulous. It's got the 648cc parallel twin, air and oil cooled. Got that mirror down there, kind of a little, little bit to get used to. Look at that, just turns on a dime. Maybe not a dime, maybe a quarter. Sounds fabulous. 59 inch wheelbase, I think that's 1500 millimeters. There's Baxter Cycle. The mighty mini tropolis of Marnia, Iowa, BaxterCycle.com. If you need a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get a hold of those guys. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, it's starting to mist here, and I've got a 35 mile ride home. <laughs> so we're going to quick get this done. <laughs> oh, life's trials and tribulations, right? Hey, you know what? Let's do the uh, spin test Spin test in reverse. Can I do that? This is the hill spin test. <laughs> Whoa, look at that, look at that. A little lengthy there. If you're ever in Marnia, Iowa, get yourself down here to the derailed grill right there. Good eats, good eats. Try the Wahoo Burger. Wahoo! Six-speed transmission on this engine. What did I say? 648 cc's parallel twin, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. I can't remember, 47, 48, 49 horsepower, something like that. 39 foot pounds of torque. That's 52 or 3 newton meters. This thing can dance. They've got gnarly tires on the back. I don't even know where I got that word from. <laughs> oh, it picks up fabulously. Beautiful bike, beautiful bike. They've done so well. I love this paint job. This is about the sixth or seventh time these dogs here have seen me. Probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Look at that. It just turns like a dream. 320 millimeter disc on the front with a dual piston vibri. And on the rear, get this, 300 millimeter disc on the rear with a dual piston vibri. This thing has brakes. Now that was one of the questions people asked when this thing came out. Oh, it doesn't have enough brakes. Well, I think it has great brakes. It's a fabulous bike. And the way they've got this one out, it is just, oh. We'll pull over and take a look at what all it's got. It runs great though. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's got different handlebars. A little low mirror right there. They took the front fender off and they put this uh, fender brace on there. The different tires, we'll take a look at that. I think they're Shinkos, but I'm not sure. They bobbed the back fender. Got this custom tank. These nifty foot pegs. And of course, a Zard pipe. Amazing Zard pipe. I love it. Just love it. They're not done with this, by the way. This is a work in progress. <laughs> Just a beautiful machine. I love this dash. Analog speedometer on the top. Digital fuel gauge there in the center. Always visible gear indicator. Always visible clock. And of course the odometer down there. And then uh, using a button, I think it's up here. You can shift between trip one, trip two, and the odometer. 
Over here is a tripper. Over here we've got the uh, information button, the clutch with adjustable clutch, adjustable brake to information button, the uh, flash to pass. Anybody behind us? Nope. And the high beams, low beams. And there's the blinkers. And of course the horn. Let's see what that sounds like. On this side, it's the uh, kill switch, run switch, and the start button. And then of course the uh, hazard lights. Brake lever is adjustable also. I think I mentioned that already. Let's park this thing and take a look at it. We'll get the other camera out and take a look at it. Hey, there's Baxter Cycle, the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie. Go to BaxterCycle.com. Like I said, those guys can help you out. They got gear and parts and stuff and everything you can imagine. Accessories like you wouldn't believe. Largest accessory supply you'll ever find for these bikes. All right, let's park this thing and uh, get the other camera out and uh, do a quick walk around. Wahoo! Sweet ride, huh? Sweet ride. Check that thing out. Nothing stock about it. Let's see what kind of tires they are. Adventure Trail, Shinko Adventure Trail tire on the front there. I'm assuming it's the same on the back. Yes, it is. Just massive. Look at that. Beefy, beefy galore. Check out this back end, the bob fender. Little tail light on the back. That's metal, by the way. All of this is metal. You know, I was going to tell you the front fender is metal too, but it's not there. Check out this tank they had done. Isn't that beautiful? Scallops. What does that look like? Kind of like an old crocker or something? Gorgeous. And of course, I love that pipe. Just love, love, love that pipe. They took the center stand off. Look at that pipe. Isn't that just gorgeous? We got to run that. Let's run that real quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Look at the color, the front and the back. Life is good, isn't it? <laughs> what a grin, what a grin. Okay, let's start at the front. Front fender's gone, got a fender brace. Check out, upside down forks. I think they're 43 millimeter, 4.7 inches of travel, 120 millimeters maybe. Got this LED headlight, isn't that nifty? Chrome. Beautiful, just beautiful. Not sure what else they're gonna do with this. These handlebars are not stock. These are another nifty change that they did. Same with the mirror. We already talked about that gorgeous tank. Beautiful, beautiful. They've got the different foot pegs on there. Check out the pipe on this side. Hey, they got a bash guard down there. Royal Enfield bash guard, check that out. Look at that, isn't that just a gorgeous view? Absolutely beautiful. Left to right, up and down, every way you look at it. Like I said, they're not done with it yet. So we'll uh, check back on this little hot rod. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Post down below. Tell me what you think, what they should do to it, what you'd like to see. It's just gorgeous. If you're interested in something like this, get yourself over to BaxterCycle.com or get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle and the mighty mini of Marnie, Iowa. Those guys can help you out. That's a beautiful day out. Not really. It's a rainy and overcast. But I've got a bike over yonder, and I'm going to ride. You all do the same. Wahoo.